I'm not doing it for you. Well, I can't do it myself, okay? So if you want that jacket, you are sticking that thing up my ass and pulling the trigger. Oh, snap. What the hell? Whoa. Jackie. Jackie Jack. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that boy. voice right there was our next guest who was play plays the role as Melanie um, Melrose Rosen on, um, on on Glow, which is on Netflix. <laughs> uh, just got renewed for a season three. Congratulations. Go that means she's going to get more Woo! checks. More checks. More checks. More checks. Okay. <laughs> and in and, and that clip, um, her character was constipated, right, in, in that episode, and then also dick-deprived. And so that combination right there kind of drove her crazy. And I wanted to ask you, Jackie, because you played that, that scene out so well, I felt like you had a reference point in your yeah, life. Yeah, ha have I ever in my own life been so full of shit there's no room for a dick? Yeah. Uh, good question, yes, Sway. Yes, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, thank goodness not. I, it's so funny. They, I think they just know what words are going to sound good coming out of my face. <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, that monster will be able to say that without any trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, people were like, I can't believe, like the other girls were like, oh my God, that's, cr are you going to, and I was like, oh, it didn't even occur to me that it was <laughs> issue. filthy. Right. Yeah, it just made me laugh. What was funny about that scene actually is like, so Ellen, who plays Jenny, mm -hmm. I'm on all fours while she's fake putting an enema in me, and you, like, <laughs> she's just got an eye on the prize. Uh -huh. I mean, because they have these little garments they're supposed to put on you to cover, but they're so small because camera can't catch them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so, your girl's just looking at your butthole. Oh, yes. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to head out. Thank you guys so much for having me. This has been truly a delight. Wait a minute. So... <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm, I often wonder like when those scenes happen. <laughs> they tried to cover it, but the co-star actually has to in real life. He's looking at your butt. Well, off. what they had, to, what they asked me was actually. I was like, I'm fine with it. I don't care because both people like. I, I was like, I'm not a very modest woman, but I also they were like, well, you have to ask Ellen if she's uncomfortable. And I was like, it didn't even occur to me. She's just looking <laughs> pie in the sky right at the old Tuchus hole. And I had to, as so I was like, hey, pie buddy. In the sky. I was like, hey, buddy, how do you feel? And she was like, oh, I don't care. And I was like, care. okay, great. She's one of my best friends. She was like, I don't, even, don't care at all. And I was like, okay. So before you do a scene, and we won't linger on this scene too long. You got other things you're doing in your life. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> did did you? This is it. This okay, is this, it. Is it. this is it. This is, is the, it. We're at the peak. What I would be most concerned about. In that scene, going into this. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two. Is yeah. what the crack of my ass is smelling like? <laughs> like, did you do an extra scrubbing, I some just, perfume? Or? I um, I'm a very, very cleanly woman. Okay. And it didn't. I didn't even bother me. I didn't. Come to think of it, I didn't even consider an extra scrub, uh, but perhaps I ought to have. And Ellen, I apologize. Okay. But I think um. I don't think anybody was disappointed. Oh, yeah. hello, uh -huh. Jackie Toe. I actually glued like a very thin strip of diamonds right up the crack so she would have a nice little sparkle to look at. You dazzled your butthole. I'm a good woman. Dazzled. I dazzled my butthole. I'm a good woman. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie is gold. You know, that's why I love Jack. We 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 start we kept communicating at the MTV TRL. Hell this, yes. this is my homie. I've been trying to hang out with you. The you best. Know? Uh, me and Rich Nice hit her every up up every now and then. You're from Long Island too. I right? am from Long Island, yeah. Oceanside. Long Island Jewish family. You right? know it. Yeah, right. And uh and here she this is what it's like. See, I didn't grow up around a lot of the Jewish community mm -hmm. like that yeah. in Northern California. So I often wonder what people are like in Jewish families. And geez, this is it, Jackie Tone. Well, I'm I'll tell you something. <laughs> I am like what they're like. I'm like a Jew, like a Jew on TV, but a lot of Jews aren't. Like oh, really? I'm okay. sort of like you see the nanny, and you're like they're not really like that. And then I show up, and I'm like, ah, ha, ha. you're like, oh no, they are like that. <laughs> but I think most of the Jewish people I know aren't. I mean, this, there's varying degrees, yeah. but yeah. I am I am your cartoonish Jewish you're woman, the cartoonish for thing, sure. Yeah. Are you um single? Are you date? Or what's oh, your deal? Oh, excuse me. Hi, Sway. Excuse me, guys. Hello, if you can all step out for a second. Okay. All right. So sweet. From butthole just, to the relationship. Yes, yes. I've also actually bedazzled my butthole for today as well. <laughs> so, look, I didn't know what was going to be happening after this. And it was really anyone's guess. And so how about this a fake sexy voice that's making everyone, three people have thrown up from this <laughs> fake sexy voice I'm Call attempted now, to do. Yeah, and puke. Puke yeah. vomit. Yeah. I am single. Um, I was in, like, a serial monogamist since okay. I'm 17, 18 years old, just go through two, three year relationships. And as of like last, I would say the beginning of this year, I've mm -hmm. just pretty much been, been pretty much been single. 
It's crazy. It's a crazy. I was thinking about it the other day, like, oh shit. Oh, you can swear on this. Yeah, you already said yeah, yeah, dick yeah, word. Yeah. Um, like, <laughs> oh shit. I oh I don't have time. I've never. I always heard people say that, like, oh I don't have time to date, and I'm like, oh cute. You just can't find someone. Nobody yeah. likes you, huh? <laughs> but now that's me. I'm oh. like, I was on a dating app for a second, and I just don't go on it. I don't write anybody back. I'm just mm-hmm. like. I don't and you know, never connected with any, never swiped. Uh, what is it, DB? Tinder. Swipe okay. Right. Oh, I don't do Tinder. I do Raya. Uh, but the thing for me with dating apps. <laughs> oh, you're not feeling that, DB? No, <laughs> fuck Raya. Wait, why? That's, that's DJ Wonder. That's the one for celebrities. You got to be approved for that giant. Yeah. Oh wow. You need yeah, recommendations and shit. Yeah. What? But the thing yeah. about that one though is like the first person that came up. Oh, this is probably cheesy. I'm not supposed to say this, but the first person that came up on my Raya, and I've heard this from other women too. Like the minute I opened the app, it was like the person that came up, Matthew Perry, (laughs) 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 who's like handsome and successful and wonderful. It just was funny. The app is sort of like they front load it. Mm -hmm. They're like, look at this dick you could get. (laughs) And then you heart him and it like doesn't hurt you back, obviously, because Matthew Perry's not trying to come for you. But like, it's just a funny (laughs) thing that like it is anyway. My problem with these dating apps is that you... <laughs> Moving right along. Well, I mean, we're, I'm done with my... It's like it's like the asshole be dazzling. We're done. Yeah, yeah, we did okay, it. Yeah, but the thing with these dating apps is like you, at a certain point, the culture is now, okay, you're looking at a person. Oh, no. Okay, he's he's cool. But there's literally a person right behind you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So the, the culture of that puts your brain in a space of not being like, oh, cool, I'm happy with what I have. Yep. It's like, well, what's right behind that? I could do better. And so it heightens better. the already psycho thing that goes on in our brain when you meet a person and you're not super connected. You're like, what's who's right behind that guy? Like, mm-hmm. what else is there? Mm-hmm. So I feel like dating app culture isn't really for me, but also on my schedule, I'm kind of just seeing if, oh, I clicked yes on Eric Andre. Not a match. Eric, uh, the comedian <laughs> Eric Andre? <laughs> yeah. He didn't he, match he, me back. He comes up all the time. He comes in all the time. Let me see. You know what? We can, let's come back and talk more that with was Jackie a long, Tone. That was a long time ago. No, Thank we're you. We're gonna, you know, we're going to come back. Maybe I could call him. No, no. Now I'm uncomfortable. What? Now I'm uncomfortable. You sure? Uh, fine, call him. No! Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Tone is here, man. You might you might know her from Globe. She's also um, a vocalist. Oh, yeah. We'll show you what I'm talking about up next. You want to talk with her? 888-742-3345. Deep this cut. Is what Deep is love? Cut. By Jackie Tone, ladies and gentlemen. Sway in the morning. Shade four five. Feeling so small. Jackie Tone is here. Yes. Yes, sir. You can find her on um, Netflix on a uh, Glow, which is um, doing extremely well. Congratulations, man! Thank the you. gorgeous ladies of wrestling. That's what it stands for. It was a um, it was a league that was started. Uh, well, how long ago did that? In ni- so the initial one was in 1984, yeah. and then it was on for four seasons. And like at the peak of its success, when it was really starting to catch on, it got canceled because there was one man who was paying for the whole thing. Uh-huh. And apparently, v- true to form, I-, I guess his mom was sort of bankrolling it and he was married and he was hitting on and maybe, this is the, this is the, the story, I don't know if, what, yeah. what if this is true, that he was either hitting on or hooking up with some of the glow girls and his wife spoke to his mom and his mom pulled the funding and oh. glow got canceled. The, the initial one in 1985. Damn. So. So we are. This was a real wrestling league. Yes. So okay. this was. So what's crazy is um, these women came in as just random ragtag. <clears throat> excuse me, random ragtag actresses. Some of them were trying to be models. They were just like girls in L.A., girls in New York that are just like trying to get anything like I don't know what is it what is it today like okay there's like uh, a friend of mine just recently is trying to be a model and like some eyelash company contacted her Mm -hmm. and gave her a bunch of money she's like okay that's what I'm doing today Mm -hmm. posing for the eyelash company and that's kind of what the glow girls were doing they just showed up and they were like what is this and they were like it's wrestling and none of these girls were wrestlers were no okay barely athletes uh-huh. And this guy, um, uh, in fact, I think his was Eddie Guerrero, our wrestling coach on Glow's uncle. Really? Wow. Trained the original girls. What? It's berserk. And except apparently it was like a crazy coke-fueled insane version of wrestling where there was like no care taken for the girls. They were like, it was like, if you can't do it, you're out. So it was like jump off the ropes, back bump, body slam, clothesline, go, go, go. With us, 
We have Emmy winning Shauna Duggins, mm -hmm. who won the oh, Emmy. She, won the Emmy. she was That's the right. first first woman to win Stunt Coordination Emmy mm -hmm. for Glow. So she is taking extra care of us. And Chavo Guerrero, mm -hmm. Eddie's nephew, who's a famous uh, pro wrestler, he was WWE and everything, he's our coach. And okay. so we're being taken extra special care of, but also getting our asses kicked and kicking each other's asses. And kicking each other's ass. The show was really uh, popular. Are people stopping you on the streets about yeah. it? Yeah. And the elevator on the way up here. Uh-huh. Um, it is interesting because I realize like, how my relationships with meeting a celebrity, like the dumb stories I've told people, like when I meet someone famous, it's like, oh, Okay, yes, you don't give a shit. I didn't think of that till now. <laughs> but now, it, now the people are like, oh, I, I was at a party, and this guy was at your high school. And, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, 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 like, you didn't yes. give a shit. <laughs> yeah, like, huh? But I'm always like, oh, that's awesome. I, but it's like, it's truly secretly in my heart. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. So, right. it, it's, <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. Oh, sick. So a person whose name you forgot, I went to the same high. All righty, have a nice day. <laughs> but like, not to be a dick, but that's like, I'm just um, likening that to how many times I've done that to famous people and been like, oh, yo, my mom's cousin knew your barber. You're like, oh, that's dumb, dude. No. <laughs> Are you still nervous around anyone? That's really fun. That's really funny you ask that. So uh -huh. I'm a super fan of the Howard Stern show. Wow. wow. Like a berserk, crazy cuckoo lady. <laughs> and the other, we were all at the Emmy parties. This, all the glow girls were at the Emmy parties this weekend. And, you know, we're like, yo, yo, Angelina Jolie. And I was like, ah, oh, tight, tight, tight. And just now, Shuli, <laughs> yeah. this like uh -huh. dude from the Howard Stern show uh -huh. walked by. And my, I didn't ask my body to do this or say it could. Hand started shaking. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was like, Shuli, that's Shuli. Oh, my God. Hey, Shuli. And I just, like, shut down and got weird as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like you hated saying hey to him. What, how did he respond to you? He was lovely. He was he was lovely. And I was like, hey, hold on. Let me get the shakes out. All right. Let me first just say, I'm not a creep. I'm on glow. All right. Now I feel weird for saying I'm on glow. I came in hot. I too much up top. All right. You're right, dude. You're right. So he hadn't said anything, and I'd said, you're right three times. It was like, it was breaking down. <laughs> it was breaking down. Yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, I think the work you're doing on the show is really the Lord's work. All right, Julie. Okay. <laughs> the Lord's work. But he was really nice and laughing and loved it, and is a fan of glow, thank goodness. So it, it makes me... Four percent less psycho. That, but that was your moment to say, "Hey, I'm a big fan of Howard Stern and you guys." And he's right down the hallway. No, but Howard's not here because it's Friday. He only works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh my gosh, what a fanatic! <laughs> <laughs> what a stand over here, boy! My God, Proven. where is he? Where is he right where, now? Show yourself. <laughs> I know, an insane person. All right, Jackie Tone is hanging out. Um, so what do you what do you do on your weekends? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm in that weird phase of my life where like the weekend is the weekday. It's like all it's all just going and working. Mm -hmm. Um actually uh recently just sold a show, a children's animated musical. Congratulations. Preschool show. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Um and so we're working on that. I'm already like in the production aspect of it and figuring out like if we think the bird's feathers look realistic and what we think each bird's personality should exactly be like and what the world looks like where they live. And it's a, it's a lot. And, and glow comes back in November. And uh -huh. so we're, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm working quite, quite a bit, but it's really cool. I mean, it's funny that that show happened at the same time. You know, it, that's how it goes. You that's know, how it goes. I couldn't get, I couldn't like pay someone to hire me for a very for a huge portion of my career, mm -hmm. and now it's now. So it's it's I can't complain. It's pretty cool. Man, yeah, live in that moment, Jackie Tone. Mm -hmm. Jackie, what should be drinking? Uh, right this minute, water. But generally, <laughs> my drink is, which is weird. Someone pointed it out to me. Um, the only alcohol that makes me not want to go to sleep immediately is tequila. I also uh, like sake and a little bit of wine, but what I'm saying is, like, vodka or, like, everything makes me so sleepy, mm. and it's no fun. Wait, 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 what's that about, Heather? She's our Mix re yeah. resident mixologist here. Blood type. Blood type? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, blood type. I, I don't even know what blood type I am. I should probably a lot of people don't. Mm. It's all right. Mm -hmm. I just found out a little while ago, too. I'm not... I'm, what I'm are you? Like, Shh. Okay. We don't tell. You can't really tell. Oh, is it right. a secret? Yeah, they it's start sure plotting. sure is. 
It Wait, really? Because if it's, someone it's needs your blood, they're going to come for you? No, but okay, it's just good. really your personal medical information. I not never to, even thought yeah, of that. to share your blood type and everything like that. People could find out a lot of information about you because once they know your blood type, you could sort of look up certain things. Oh, no, no. Creepy. Okay. It's creepy I shit. I won't say it's creepy but shit. Well, then I won't. When I find mine out, I will not be telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the first person I but will I'm not tell. I'm glad you like tequila. Maybe we got the yeah. same blood type. Oh, see? Now I'm saying. But I do. So I love tequila, but my drink is a Mexican mule. Mm. And every Everybody always says. Yeah, knows her tequila type. She does. Oh, that's <laughs> well, because people like a Moscow mule, but I don't. Nah. I can't fuck with vodka, so you then I do tequila. a Mexican mule. But most people are like, oh, tequila's terrible with ginger ale. I'm like, oh. all right. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? Right. It's like when someone tells you what you're eating is disgusting. You're like, okay. Now what? Yeah, thank you. Where do we go from here, <laughs> sir? Up in Jackie Tom, man. It's always a dude trying to neg you at a bar, too. Like, what? Oh, a Mexican. Tequila's gross with ginger ale. Okay. Well, you're gross to me right now, sir. Bye. I love Jackie. Me too. Yo, this is, you see why this is my friend? Your That's homie. My this is my homie, right? That's your what? My nigga. There you go, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> That's Be big, still my beating heart. That's bigger than an Emmy, kid. <laughs> That's right. All right. Hey, Jackie, what's your social media? I want all the citizens to follow her. If um, you, you may know her from Glow, and even if you don't, follow her anyway. What a wonderful, spirited person. What's your social I media? I love you. It's Jackie Tone, J-A-C-K-I-E-T-O-H-N. J-A-C-K-I-E-T-O-H-N. Yes. Before you go, man, we prepared a game for you. Oh? <gasps> yes. It's called How Would You Handle It? Also, I want you to know hey I'm never there. leaving. <laughs> you know, you're no stranger so to nice uncomfortable try. situations. So we came up with a few of our own to see how would you handle it on Sway in the Morning. Ooh. That's a good intro. That's yeah. a great intro. Give me those horns. <laughs> yeah, about our production. All right, so All right. this game is called How Would You Handle It? Now, we've seen how Melrose handles some uncomfortable situations on GLOW, but we want to know how Jackie would handle some of our Similarly. own. Similarly. Okay. Eesh. First one, you're on your way to the Emmy Awards, and somebody spills wine on your dress. How would you Ooh. handle it? Damn. Well, <laughs> actually, I was thinking of this because Sarah Bareilles' dress didn't arrive until like most of the people had already walked the carpet. So she was doing this Insta story where she was walking up and down the hallway of her hotel in her robe, in her heels, with full beat hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. That might be the move. I thought I thought about that. I was like, the this is kind of cheesy, but I was like, oh my god, the press you would get if you showed up on the Emmy carpet in a robe, but because you had to, not because you were a dick who was like, I chose to wear a robe. Like my dress never came. I'm not gonna miss the party. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the robe from my hotel, full beat hair and makeup, leg sprayed, asshole be dazzled, heels. <laughs> oh, come for me. Yes. Okay, come okay, for okay. Me. All right, well, I like that okay. answer. That's a great answer. Great great answer. Dazzle. All right, right number dazzle. two. It's my nickname. <laughs> you go in for an audition, and the casting director is an ex-boyfriend you hate. Oof. Damn. Damn. This has <laughs> happened, but it wasn't a casting director. And what generally happens in those situations is they don't call you oh, in because they're like, <laughs> oh. oh, that's my ex. And they like, it's kind of, it kind of sucks. Yeah. But um, in those situations, you just sort of make you, I mean, I, I, this isn't a funny answer, but I just sort of make the best of it. And you sort of go like, I, I try to handle things. Um, you know, people have like a WWJD. Mine's like WWSSD. Like what would Sarah Silverman do? <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> I feel like when she does that stuff, like she goes on Jimmy, she goes on Kimmel and she just talks about it. She's like, are you, are you done with this Molly character? And he's like, we have kids together. She's like, I know, but us again, is that going to ever, like she just <laughs> makes it funny yeah. and lightens yeah. it uh -huh. because otherwise it's so weird. It's weird, right? You know, so you have to call it out and I'm not going to go in there and pretend it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Like I'll yeah. go in and just be like, does everybody here know that we used to fuck? Okay, is that, that's how you handle it, Jackie. Is that um, something that okay. we all need to talk about? Okay. All right. Just one more and one by one the one. way, it was whatever. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get that job. Yeah. All right, last one. I wasn't going to anyway. You're in the middle of a live interview, mm -hmm. and you have to fart really bad. Oh, God bless. <laughs> Cut to right now. No, just no. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one hair coming up. Okay. Oh, that's how, how do I handle it? Yeah. Oh, I mean, just do like an air one. You squeeze? Yeah, well, I would either, I would probably just hold it in. <laughs> uh -huh. But I probably, like, in this situation, it's a closed. If you're, like, gonna die and it's, like, you feel, like, sick yeah, and you have to, I guess, how do you, you can't leave. Mm. You can't excuse yourself. So I would just, I mean, you could just have to hold it in. You ha I mean, of course, you can't not. 
Yeah. I mean, in this room, are there anybody? There's not really that many people you could blame in this room. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could blame me, blame Sway, you feel? Always. Always. They always, even even when it's not me, rarely. Oh, in the rare occasion (laughs) it is, isn't you? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I just want to say that this commercial is disgusting and it's been on for such a long time and it's like a blackhead squeezing commercial. But it's like four minutes long. And it's literally, I'm trying so hard not to look at it. To pay attention to it. Yeah, uh, Jackie Tone. Jackie, you can hang out. That was some ender, my blackhead commercial ender. That's actually my closer, how I close on the road. No, no, you stop paying attention to yourself, so I figured it was over. (laughs) Nope, no, back on me, back Back on on me. Back Uh on Jackie. Okay, so look, you guys, follow Jackie Tone at J-A-C-K-I-E-T-O-H-N, and then make sure you check out uh, Netflix and see um, Glow. If you haven't saw or watched it yet, seasons ones and twos, you can find out. Uh, you can find it on Netflix. And season three just got renewed for season yes. three. Yes, we're getting money now. Yes, we're getting money now. You want to yeah, hang yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. You want to hang out a little bit? Of course. Okay, Jackie Tone is here. Black.